Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mama Vic channel and today I'm going to be reviewing this beautifully, first of all I'm going to review the roadmap that Fetcher AI released a couple of days back, I, I think this was sometime last year and obviously I'd be remiss in this channel if I don't talk about that roadmap, pretty exciting stuff and I'm also going to talk about this beautifully written article or curated article by Coin Rivet amazing stuff so i'll start with this article then i'll go into the meat of the matter which is the roadmap i think it's pretty amazing what these guys are trying to do so because they're tackling all kinds of things DeFi, automating smart contracts uh data in terms of oracles they look they're going into uh, they've already been into DeFi, but they're also expanding that they are going to get into inter interconnectivity and interoperability which is pretty amazing so exclusive facial ai announced 2022 plans so the ceo human chic reveals to coin rivet what his firm has in place for a new year and how lockdown affected the team guys you guys are gonna love this especially the roadmap and even this so fresh i ceo human chic has announced plans to release its deep parking use cases as well as the launch of the social media platform in 2022 so social media as 2021 comes to a close it's already closed coin rivet spoke to the fresh dirty eye boss um on how a turbulent year for the world went for the british artificial intelligence lab as well as plans they had in the pipeline for 2022 so the firm revealed their 2022 roadmap on their twitter page demonstrating what they plan to launch next year so which is 2022 this year so i'll cover that after this so fetch dirty eyes deep parking systems a smart parking concept use cases use case that enables drivers to find parking spaces in busy cities will be released in the next six months according to the ceo so remember there's a company data Rela, which is already building this so following the demonstration of the deep parking concept at the iaa global mobility conference human chic said that the fetch dirty eye Fetch ODI is speaking to several firms as they look to launch the concept in 2022. So those that did not watch my video or that did not attend the IAA event, um, there's this website where CoinRivet also covered some of the events and you can watch some of the videos where they get into the cars and there's some po uh, parts of the video like this where they were hey actually showing you how they test the Let's app. So here they can... I'll show you a little car. bit. So I click here on connect to vehicle, scan this QR code, and now I can see here, I'm connected to the Tesla with this respective. Yeah, so this guy has the Mobix app. I actually have the Mobix app on my phone as well. It's available on, on, on OS and Android on the stores you can get them and so what this guy is doing use he's using that app to scan the qr code and that app contains an agent within itself and the qr code directs um points to another agent in a parking lot and then these two agents at that point start communicating transacting negotiating with each other until the driver gets to that point the other agent opens the gate automatically they get in they get out the agents do the transactions and the communication and the negotiation no human real the, the only human input is scanning that qr code pretty much Okay, so the next in the next six months, we're planning to launch multiple products and localities to launch the use case where people can actually use the Fetch technology to find and book parking. Human Chic exclusively revealed. It's not an easy task to build something that doesn't exist from the ground up, where you have multiple stakeholders trying to solve multiple problems to bring them together. So the fact that no individual or company has affected has attempted to solve a problem like the availability of parking in big cities makes it a sought after concept. Human she called the market desperate for a solution for parking and called it an issue everyone in big city cities faces. It's a problem we all have, but nobody is solving it. It's because there is no aggregator financing model. He said that. So those are the words he said aggregator financing model so when asked whether he thinks other firms will look to copy fashion as the parking concept once they launch in 2022 humanity said that the uh, parking launch will show and encourage what people can build on fetch and it's something they've already gained traction on so guys those that do not know fashion is essentially a layer one technology but in some aspects it could also be almost seen as a layer zero technology but it's built on a layer zero technology which is the cosmos ecosystem so more on the social media platform in a previous interview with coin rivet the fed ceo said apps apps and apps is what's next for the farm in 2022 and he closed just what fetch is unveiling in 2022 so we'll be launching so this is in the words of of Huma and Sheik, we'll be launching a social media platform on fetch he revealed so the social media platform could be integrated into twitter and linkedin and while it's an ecosystem project it will be running on fetch so the mainnet Guys, this is what EOS was supposed to do. They were supposed to launch voice on EOS, but these guys keep messing around. But let's not talk about those teams. 
and how they're mismanaging themselves. So the launch of the platform will be in January of 2022, confirmed by Humane and demonstrates the traction the company has garnered with ecosystem driven projects built on fetch so human said the members of the ecosystem building this social media platform find it helpful to weed out the fake news from the social media which enables the platform to give right credit i'm not too sure about that part but it's very important i guess because they're building from the ground up and eventually they can achieve those milestones like decentralization and so on but you have to build something first okay and there must be a reason as to why that part is there um so fed token so 2021 has been a remarkable year for the fetch today i token increasing 1056.9 percent according to coin gecko so despite the exponential growth of the token humarian believes the best is yet to come i don't believe we've even scratched the surface he expressed if you look at the market cap of fetch today it's hugely undervalued if you put the value of social media app and the parking project these are projects themselves that are worth billions of dollars so according to human and chic most adoption of these projects must occur before we begin to see the value of fetch and where it needs to be so the lockdown effects um with the uk having experienced much of the 2021 in lockdown coin river discussed how that affected fetch.ai's plans and if in one way it helped the company so in quotes our plans of commercial commercialism has been humbered by COVID-19 as well as our plans to launch our travel token a travel token due to conditions caused by pandemic guys remember many governments are looking at um um uh creating a travel a travel kind of ban or requirement not a ban but rather a travel requirement of declaring uh your value in terms of digital assets i don't know how they plan to do that but this is interesting to see this travel token okay so we miss speaking about the project but sometimes you have to put your head down and build stuff so there's a lot to talk about uh, wanting to tell everybody about what we're doing what we're doing but we also have to build this real world thing and it gave us some very focused development however going to the new year human recognized now is the time to speak to people and form more partnerships with the launches the company has in the pipeline so 2022 will, could prove to become a significant year in the growth of fetch.ai so of course disclaimer no financial advice very important to make that disclaimer so beautiful article guys uh, let's go into a decentralized autonomous travel by fetch.ai they do some further explanations on this this was actually yeah the centralized travel has been something in the pipeline for a while so i think they want to attach that to a token so a quick look at the roadmap guys fetch.ai 2022 roadmap q1 to q2 new applications is what they start with trip t-r-i-p travel application rebranded nice i like that name decibel decentralized social media platform amazing decentralized delivery network this has really been in their works and we can see that mobix the company that built the uh, parking agent that that iaa thing is in in the it's in this in the weeds in this within this an iot platform so you know of also fresh AI is partnered with um iota so i think that kind of lines up uh, they're looking at acquiring data streams there's some data streaming kind of thing that iota has that i think fresh AI is looking at at utilizing uh under the ecosystem uh, governance proposal to enable IBC on Fresh.ai mainnet. That's the inter-blockchain communication protocol that allows Fresh.ai to essentially communicate with all other chains connected through the Cosmos Hub and Cosmos ecosystem, Tender Mint, the consensus algorithm, and so on. And Fed tokens deployed on Cosmos Hub and the Osmosis Dex. Osmosis being, the, I think, the most popular, biggest decentralized exchange on the uh, Cosmos ecosystem. So a launch of Mobix token bridge, that will be interesting. The Mobix people that are building the parking, the, the travel solutions, the micromobility solutions, creating a bridge with that Mobix token right now, which can stake right now, actually. So launch of reconciliation application to enable the hot, I think that's hot wallet owners to recover tokens from the stake migration. So initially they did a stake migration in the past from the ethereum mainnet to the fetch mainnet um and i think some people lost tokens in there so they want to create an incentive model for them uh, collective learning one of the most bullish things in the world not just in the fetch uh um, ecosystem so they want to launch colon guys i'm extremely excited about colon and its use cases this is used to analyze data so hospitals can use it financial institutions can use it individuals can use it banks can like, all kinds of things can use it uh as long as you're storing data uh, trying to analyze that data um and they showed examples of x-rays i think fetch partnered with a poznan supercomputer to analyze x-rays and colon can be used for that there's also other things that they're building in terms of analyzing covid and all that so colon is one of the biggest things being launched it can be used to do art and so many other things so decentralized data sharing protocol released 
that's pretty cool and i think they, they're looking at ipfs which is the interplanetary uh, uh, file system which is also the team building this is the file coin system so guys i think that's what they're they're planning to use because if you look at the documents they're using these peer-to-peer -peer libraries that are from the ipfs ecosystem so and then a final part of the road roadmap this uh, q1 Q1 to Q2 still. Uh, number four, developer ecosystem. So the developer portal, inviting developers to create applications deployable on the fetch mainnet. I like that the mainnet has this kind of utility or versatility or whatever they're trying to get to. It's amazing. So evaluating app marketplace for users and developers, that's another thing. Then ecosystem development initiatives. Fetch.ai fund for developers to build and deploy applications of Fetch.ai mainnet. Those that do not know, this is uh, this is a thing that many companies do in the blockchain ecosystem where they incentivize other individuals or companies to build products onto this system and some of them if they succeed then the ecosystem succeeds as well and binance smart chain has garnered a lot of success by uh, applying that particular model then they're going to organize hackathons test nets to create solutions built on uh, for fetch AI ecosystem and then lastly five and six number five the ledger mainnet so upgrade upgrade of the network to capricorn release so Capricorn release. I think that's on the Cosmosm, Cosmos ecosystem kind of, or they're on, I'm going to look more into the Capricorn release. So version one, Cosmosm virtual machine enabling developers to deploy their own Rust smart contracts to mainnet. Rust is one of the languages used a lot in, de in deploying smart contracts. So people that develop on Ethereum will easily be able to do that on this system, which is pretty amazing. And BLS based group signature modules for enhanced multiple signature wallets, uh, DAOs, decentralized autonomous organizations, and agent based oracles those that want do not know what bls is this is um uh wikipedia a bls digital signature also known as a as bonnet lin shakam is a cryptographic signature scheme which allows a user to verify that a sign a signer is authentic okay so let's finish the last part of this integration with the um, Cosmosm group, you know, Cosmosm is, is really the thing used to develop smart contracts on the Cosmos ecosystem. So, uh, group signature clients with with the uh, autonomous economic agent framework. So, then lastly, reconciliation of mainnet tokens for stake migration. I think we have looked at this kind of uh, DeFi. Then the DeFi agents, enhanced DeFi agent capabilities. So, you know, they have DeFi agents that right now work on Uniswap and PancakeSwap, but there's so much more that these agents can do, and they, I think they're they're changing that. They also added a new feature where your tokens are swapped out and then they're swapped for whatever token you prefer they're taken out withdrawn from the pools and then they're swapped so indexing of transaction histories to improve responsiveness of the user interface uh improved wallet analysis for DeFi strategy formulation so i guess metrics and looking at different data to 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 devise your strategy of how to approach DeFi. A rebranded website and dashboard for improved uh, UX. So deployment of FET-powered DeFi agents on other EVM networks. So that EVM interoperability that I talked about in my video yesterday. Guys, I think this video has already gone on for long enough. And um, I think this is truly, truly exciting. This is what it means to build real-world use cases and to have a goal and to achieve these goals, to attain these goals when you've set them, which is some may see it as an impossibility so when these companies do things like this it's really amazing it means they hired the right people it means they're focused it means they have a goal that they can they know they can realize if they put the work in if they relentlessly uh persist and continue doing this uh without giving up all right guys that's all i had for you today i hope you enjoy your sunday i'll see you on the next one bye bye guys take care